So, today guys, we have with us the one and only Firefox. Firefox, tell us a little about yourself. A little about myself, I am 23 years old. I'm a teacher at heart, like to help people, like kids. And uh, I like to stream, I guess, so that, uh, on YouTube, play games. Okay, wait, give me, give me one sec. Can you please pause for a second? This is not Firefox the browser. This is Firefox a person. Yes. Um, well, uh... What, 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 hold on, one second, please. One second. Okay, and we're back. Today we have with us Firefox, the YouTuber, not the browser. Yep. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't want I don't want the browser. I am a YouTuber, not as well known as the browser. Very small, not in size. I'm actually six feet. Yeah, I don't know how tall the browser is, but I think I beat them all day. I have a kid and a wife. How would you describe yourself, Firefox, in five words? Tall, handsome, smart, funny. YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. Moving right along, what projects are you working on presently? Well, I'm trying to build a, a community on YouTube. I'm trying to be the number one entrepreneur YouTuber in my country, which is Trinidad and Tobago, uh, for gaming. Because it have others who do other things that people look about. But for gaming, yeah, I'm trying to be the top for that. Uh, trying to work on building the channel right now. Trying to get a new intro. Trying to get some merch. Yeah, those kind of things. But, you know. It is a process. It's a process and it will happen you know, eventually. Okay, that's wonderful. Next question. Where do you see yourself in the YouTube competition locally? I know you, you touched on it a little bit, but do you, do you have like a specific rival in Trinidad and Tobago? I don't have a rival per se, but I have somebody who I want to become better than, which is... Devon X Scott on YouTube. Um, nothing personally against him. You know, he's a good guy. I just it's more it's more so like a, a aspiration. I want to become as good as him. That, that is basically what it is. Okay, great. That is good to have aspirations. Let's move on. How do you balance your work and private life? Because I know work. you said you're a teacher. Oh, you yeah, said you're a teacher work. and you said you're a YouTuber. But you also right. have a wife and a child. So how do you make all of these things work together? Well, uh, me and my wife, my wife is, uh, no, actually, no, she doesn't understand it. I've explained to my wife that, you know, it's a sacrifice when you're doing YouTube because if you, from all the big YouTubers that I've ever watched, they sacrifice when they were smaller. And when they get bigger, they don't have to sacrifice anything again. So she, I guess I can say she understands that it's a bit of a sacrifice. And I spend, I still do spend time with her and my baby when as much time as I get in between work and, and YouTube. But she knows that it will be not as much as I could be doing without YouTube because of the fact that I need to dedicate a lot of my time to both YouTube and to my work. I have to dedicate, I have to dedicate a lot of time to work because I will get fired. And then I have to dedicate a lot of time to YouTube so that I can grow and get to a point where I want to be. And um, at that point, whenever I reach there, whenever it is, however fine the future it is, I will not have to sacrifice anymore. YouTube will just be making its own money and I will have people to do certain things for me and that kind of thing and I will not have to stress. Okay, great. What is your dream project? As a, as a YouTuber or as like in general in life? Uh, both, I guess. Well, in, in, in life, let me see, in, in general in life, I love teaching, yes. I love helping kids. I love being a role model for kids. But teaching will only go so far. I mean, I have to retire at some time. So my ultimate goal in life is to grow my YouTube to a point where I could still help or be a model for kids and children and general people as well who would be interested in the channel um, to reach a point where I could influence them, influence enough people and then take those people and influence them in a positive, uh, a positive direction on other platforms outside of YouTube, like Instagram and anywhere else that people can follow, yeah? And try to help as much people in my country as well before I die. That's my ultimate goal. Um. The whole thing to my, to my, 
my child after so that she could continue the baby process and keep the line go down the line. And that is wonderful. You have a goal, but that was not the question. What you is your dream go- project? So like something I'm working on right yes, now? Yes, something you would like to work on or something you would see yourself working on in the future that would be like, you know, something you're really interested in doing. Um, I doing it. YouTube. I think I, I think I'm working on my dream project right now, which is building a YouTube base, a YouTube presence. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. What is your biggest learning experience you've ever had thus far in your young 23 years of life? Um, not to trust red women. That's, that's, that's like a big, good lesson. Don't trust red women. Both male and females are talking to male and females. Don't trust red women. A red woman, uh, for the women, a red woman will steal your man. And for the men, a red woman will have another man. <laughs> okay. Moving right, moving right along. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Can I say that on camera? <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, for me, it was the best compliment, but I mean, you know, yeah. I, I don't want this. Okay. Moving right along. This is my answer here. Yeah. Moving right along. When we are no longer in a pandemic, do you see yourself traveling to any countries and where would that be? I want to visit a country where my fans can meet me. So, somewhere central to most of my fans on YouTube, I'll visit there with the main purpose in mind to meet my fans who live in that country or close to that country. Great, great. So, how many fans do you say you would have right now? Based off of, well, YouTube only would be 3.6k, small channel, and on Instagram is one point something k and then on facebook is like just 50 people so <laughs> about four about four thousand people maybe but are these all active fans no uh they're not all active fans some people would just come on like for games that they like and i mean it's that's how youtube is with and everybody is be active all the time but there is a a growing number it's a small number but it's a growing there is a growing number and that will help me grow even more great what is the best thing that happened to you this year so far i guess the best thing that happened to me so far was um two big booms i guess on my youtube this year so far yeah i had two big booms on my youtube again like 500 subs in one day each day so that was that was good. Successful. Very successful. If you were a biscuit, what type of biscuit would you be? I would be a biscrim. Have I explained why? Yes, I would love to know why. Why would you like to be a biscrim, Fox? Because uh, May I call you Fox? Oh Mr yeah, yeah. Mr. Firefox? Yeah, people always call me Fox so short, so yeah. Foxy, Luxy, Fox, you know, Firefox, anything. Okay, Foxy, let's go. Why would no, you no. like to be a Biscrem? A Biscrem because, <coughs> personally, I find a Biscrem is smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. And then, uh, there's a little surprise in everyone. Which is the chocolate. One, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> ah, we have a good question here. What is your idea of a perfect date? I know your anniversary is coming up soon. Don't tell me or don't ask me how I know that. A little birdie told me. Where would you be <laughs> taking Stephanie on this date? <laughs> my per- for my perfect date or for my anniversary? Well, I mean, it should be a perfect date on your anniversary, no? Uh... uh... <laughs> I- is that trick question or something? <laughs> That's bonus reach, bonus wrong. Or? <laughs> okay, well, let's just go with perfect date. It does not have to be 
for your upcoming anniversary. No, you see, because a perfect date and an anniversary, in my mind, are two different things. For our anniversary, well, for our anniversary, we will go, we go in a hotel that she never went before and uh, enjoy our time away from our child, just she and I, and we just go and chillax, you know, Netflix and chill. But a perfect date, like a date, date, like, like before we were married then, a perfect date would have been for us a day in the forest or something, because I'm a bush monkey and she li- and she liked the bush too. We go in the, in the forest, have a picnic or something. I remember, okay, so I remember once we went on the beach, a secluded beach, where no one knows about, well, okay, I lie, because I know about it, but not plenty of people know about it, and it's hard to get there. And we went on a hike to the beach, and then when we went, when we got on the beach, it had nobody there, but that's, that's a secluded beach, and we pitched a tent, and put out a mat in front of the tent, and had a picnic, and we enjoyed our time on the beach, just chatting, and talking, eating food that I cooked that wasn't so tasteful, but yeah, I mean, you know, at that time, I didn't know how to cook as well as I do now. Do you have any tips for cooking now that you are a professional chef? Eh? Keep an eye on your pot. I've burnt a lot of food. So yeah, keep your, keep an eye on your pot. Wow. Would you ever get a motorcycle? No. Why not? I had a couple family members that die on motorcycles because they were stupid. And I think if I get one, I might be stupid too. <sighs> and there you have it, guys. The hard truth about motorcycles. What makes you smile and what scares you the most? I'm not easily scared, but I, I think I might be scared to lose my daughter, maybe. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah. I'll be scared to lose my daughter, like to accident or something. Um, uh, wait, and what makes me smile? What, yeah. what makes me smile is me making other people smile. I like to, I like to make people laugh, so... Whenever that happens, it, it, that makes me smile. I feel like I get a warm feeling. You know, like when you eat a, a pomegranate and you kiss your babe to turn shivers down your spine? Oh my yeah, God. Like that. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? At age 27. Where do no, you see it. your YouTube channel in five years? I know, I know, I know. Um, I see my YouTube channel at at least over 100k plus. So I'm no longer teaching. Or I might be teaching, who knows. But I might just be working for myself, being my own boss, have people who work with me, but they will be their own boss too. I mean, according, if I ever to own a business, which I want to in the future with this whole YouTube thing, the people who I hire should benefit from it personally as well, so that they, we can all grow because when other people are around you grow, you end up growing. So it's like almost selfish and not selfish at the same time. But yeah, that's how I see myself in five five years okay great what would you say is your greatest strength and your greatest weakness my greatest strength is the ability to make people laugh i was told that before because it's not like an easy thing to do apparently it's not an easy thing to do to make people laugh so i think that is my greatest strength because making somebody laugh or laughing i should say actually helps somebody release certain endorphins and hormones in their body that Make them forget about like stress and that kind of thing. So I guess it's a good thing to make people laugh. And that is one of my biggest strengths. And one of my biggest weaknesses is that I like to please people a lot. And um, kind of kind of like a reverse psychology kind of thing. But liking to help people a lot could be a weakness. Because at some sometimes it's at, the, at your own expense. At your own detriment or it does hurt to yourself um, but uh, I've been also I've been told that as well so that's why I can tell okay great I mean maybe that's something you should work on but wonderful <laughs> something I should work on <laughs> yeah I mean you shouldn't try to be a people please I need to live for yourself because no you see that's why that I mean it's that is a <laughs> is a tricky question because I like helping people, right? And it's a, it gives me a good feeling, but sometimes I, I do it. But you also in, need to help yourself and set boundaries, clear boundaries where, you know, people could boss out. <laughs> so, uh, what advice would you have for anyone who is interested in starting their own YouTube channel? A kid, per se, in your class. Uh, tell all your friends about it. Make sure you focus on them watching your videos so you have to produce content where they could watch. 
and uh, never ask people to subscribe. When you're beginning, never ask people to subscribe. It's a personal trick I've learned. Because uh, when you tell somebody to subscribe, they just want to, they just feel like they, they have no power because you tell them to subscribe, so they don't subscribe. If you tell them don't subscribe, they're like, okay, so who's you to tell me not subscribe? And then they just subscribe. Great. What do you say? You have a favorite thing to say. Um, no, I don't think so. Like a catchphrase or what, what's the word that you would find yourself saying on a daily basis? Stop like man. Huh? Stop, Stop like, like man. man, that's what I say. <laughs> I said that every day, yeah. Let's, I, I don't go a day without saying it. I just said it. So that was my quota for today. <sighs> okay, great. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Stop like man. The quote from Firefox. And I just have a couple more questions for you. Let's see. How has your newfound fame, because you, you said you had a boom recently, how has that affected you or how has that changed you in general? I heard they had uh, some groupies as well. Uh, for real? <laughs> a little birdie told me that you had some groupies. How has stardom changed you, Firefox? It makes me work harder, I guess, yeah. I have more people who are looking on, more people who are expecting something out of me. So yeah, it makes me work harder, it makes me have to think a lot more, uh, have a lot more ideas in my mind to produce. Uh, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And the last question, last but not least. If I gave you an elephant right now, where would you hide it? Uh, I don't think I'll hide it. I, I mean, an elephant, that's so cool though. I'll, I'll have shows and things. I'll invite people to one season. Okay, so the elephant is a illegal elephant. It was stolen. Where would you hide it? Oh, oh, a legal elephant. A legal elephant. Where would I hide it? Is this a trick question or something? No, it's, it's just a question. Like, how, how close are we? That's my question. Because, I mean, if it's an illegal elephant, I just call the police on you. <laughs> okay. There you have it, folks. Fox is a snitch. how close we are, then I will know if they sell it or not. <laughs> I mean, I think that was all the questions. Oh, I lie. I have one more. So, the final, okay. final question. If you could switch lives with somebody, anybody, would you and why? I would switch lives with Mr. Beast. He's another YouTuber. <laughs> I would switch lives with him um, because he's a good person. He has influenced a lot of people and helped a lot of people. And I feel like if I'm in, in his shoes or in his position, I would be able to help. Or I could help a lot more people who... Because I know in his country... Like, people who really help us, people who really need it. But I think I would, like, try to extend that reach to probably, like, trying to assist. And, then, and this is not to say he hasn't in private, but try to assist the situation with COVID and, like, other issues around the world, like world hunger. And probably target some small countries that under duress and that kind of thing and, and help them out. Because, I mean, he's bought, bought islands before. So, I mean, why not just buy an island that under duress and free everybody i guess <laughs> wonderful wonderful uh, okay that's the end of it folks <laughs> thank you for joining us today and we have been here with firefox he gave us a lovely interview and we will see you next time on celebrity interviews with tv celebrity interviews on tv i don't know okay <laughs> <laughs>